It was standing room only Tuesday at the West Hawaii Civic Center for the meeting of the State Commission on Water Resource Management as they voted to deny the National Park Service its request to take over managing part of West Hawaii's water. There were two agenda items, one on how the County Department of Water Supply planned to manage the water supply of the Keahau Aquifer between Kealakekua and Kiholo in the future. The second agenda item was to decide on the request submitted in 2013 by the Kolokohonokahau National Park to have the state take over management of the Keahau Aquifer groundwater. The commission accepted the County Department of Water Supplies Management Plan. They then asked State Water Commission staffer Roy Hardy to explain why the staff was recommending against the National Park's request to designate the Keaho Aquifer as a managed system. The staff recommendation is the culmination of about three and a half years of investigations which came about as a result of the petition and the investigations that are provided uh, under the Commission's authority to look at the, the issue and whether designation was warranted or not based on the petition provided by the National Park Service. Um, three and a half years later, more information, more experience. Um, their um, staff felt and through their analysis felt that the eight criteria were not met. Um, though there are concerns and needs to protect all the public trust uses, the park, traditional and customary, um, the resources of the aquifer and of the park, but there's also the public trust uses, uh, domestic use. Um, part of the process also culminated in a reservation for the Department of Hawaiian Homelands as part of the criteria about authorized planned use. We need to consider those, and the Department of Hawaiian Homelands did a good job laying out what they needed. And so uh, all those things together, we thought that the public trust purposes were protected well enough in the context of the eight criteria we recommended uh, no designation at this time. The Koloko Honokahau National Park team spent more than an hour rebutting the State Water Commission staff report. Their concern is that the water in their Ankyaline ponds may become inadequate or have too much salinity to support endangered species such as mullet and the damselfly. In addition, the commission heard more than two hours of public testimony. Many of those testifying in favor of the state taking over management of the water system cited concerns about access for Native Hawaiians for traditional and customary practices. There were also those concerned about preserving the water resource for future generations. There were also numerous testifiers against the National Parks petition. Hawaii County Mayor Harry Kim was one. When I looked at and read all I could and talked to the both sides, you realize their mission is exactly the same. And my position is we can accomplish without designation, and that's what I presented. Lily Uokalani Trust was concerned designation would diminish their capacity to serve their beneficiaries, destitute or orphaned Hawaiian children and there were other testifiers concerned about housing prices. In the end, the seven commissioners discussed the matter and voted 6-1 to one to deny the National Park Service's request for designation. Commission Chair Suzanne Case. Well, this was a long, hard process, and I'm really glad that uh, the Water Commission was able to take really a long time, three and a half years, to really th think through this and hear from the community and really study the issues. Uh, I think. The decision was a six to one decision and it was a, a solid uh, decision not to move the petition forward. Um, but I think the process was really important in uh, highlighting the issue of the, the need to, to plan our future um, in the context of our available resources. And I don't think anybody on the commission who took this vote uh, thinks that we don't have to worry about the future and worry about whether we have enough water available to keep our natural and cultural resources healthy. We do. We have to pay attention to it. And the uh, commission put eight conditions on its decision to try to bolster that to make sure that this is not just a no, we're not going to designate. It's uh, we're not going to designate now because it's not the right time. We have not met the criteria. Uh, we're not anywhere near sustainable yield, but that does not mean that there's not uh, future threats to our Ankyline ponds and um, all of our natural and cultural resources that also depend on the water as well as development. So it's a solid state statement that um, 
Um, it's not the right time yet, but it's really an important issue to keep an eye on, and we will. Longtime commissioner and former Hawaii County Department of Water Supply Director Milton Pavel also shared his thoughts. I think it was the right thing to do. I think, uh, I think the commission responded to the concerns of the National Park Service. I think they took everything into consideration. I think it was a thorough, well thought out uh, um, write-up. And for that reasons and many more, I, I agreed to accept the recommendation. I have a tremendous trust in the staff of the commission, and I think they did a great job. The one dissenting vote was from Hawaii Island Commissioner Kalmana Beamer. For now, management of water in the Keaho Aquifer will stay with Hawaii County Department of Water Supply. The State Commission on Water Resource Management will continue to oversee their work. Roy Hardy on the commission staff talked about the staff recommendation and what's next. There's still some things to do though. We, there were eight follow-up actions, so we have our checklist of to do and follow up um, as far as protecting the resource. A lot of it is monitoring, making sure people are monitoring, and also getting more input from the traditional and customary voices in the area uh, and uh, modifying some of our normal uh, well construction permit. We think we can do that with the tools we have right now. And so the commission um, agreed. Uh, and so that's where we are. And we got our, our homework cut out for us right now and following up with those eight actions. They're all on commission staff. I look forward to uh, more management in the area because I'm fond of Kona and I, I, I want to see it protected too in, in the right way. And so with the water use and development plan that has been developed um, by the county and is an integral part of the decision, I don't think the commission would have actually accepted the denial without that piece of the puzzle in place because basically it was linking water use with, de um, with development. That's what the plan me needs. So um, I think that's a good thing. And, I you know, hope to see uh, spreading out of pumpage to the south in the high level and finding out what's actually going on up in the high level. It's a big mystery. So as a scientist, that's always a nice thing to have mysteries and curiosities and try to figure out what's going on.